Hey guys, Pete here again with the uh, Pete Listening Sessions Volume 3. Uh, in this episode, we'll be listening to Usurped Synapse, uh, an examination of. Uh, here's the record right here, I'll get it off for you. Um, clear red. And this is actually an interesting record because it's an uncut 6 inch, making it a 7 inch actually. Uh, you know, as a regular 7 inch would be. But it has this extra little inch of, of unused space on the outer edge, and um, the black versions of this were uh, cut down and sold as six inches. Um, <clears throat> the only way to get this specific version of it is uh, through the Coffin Kids uh, fan club thing for pushing out our records, I think. So, <clears throat> when you see this record and you see me playing it, just know, uh, and it's not a joke or anything like this, it means I'm better than you. And that's pretty much it. And we're pairing it with... Some cheap red wine that I'm drinking out of a dirty Slurpee cup. Um, and the theme of this uh, installment is the economy and keeping money in your community. And you may ask yourself, well, Pete, how can you say that when you just went to 7-Eleven, obviously, and you got that Slurpee? Oh, well, you know, for the cup, at least. And, well, all right, yeah, maybe. But you got to think about these things, guys. I gave my dollar forty-nine to that clerk. I looked him square in the eyes, and I said... You better tell your boss to spend this at the pizza place across the street, because that's important, okay? And then, of course, the guy that owns the pizza place, he's going to he's gonna spend it within the community, too. Of course he's not going to go run off and, and, you know, go buy a Corvette or something with it. That's just ludicrous. He's obviously going to go and buy a sandwich from the deli across the street from him, you know? Mom and pop businesses is important. Keep your money in your community. Apparently, your community also includes the Czech Republic. Yeah, just... <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, Colorado, Czech Republic, that's, that's the same community, right? Well, anyway, um, this record shouldn't exist. Uh, it was made in the late 90s, when there was no records, actually, at all being made. The records stopped being made in the early 80s. And then, and out of the blue, literally, kind of, like, it was such a surprise to everybody, they started making, they, they, the they, the, the they, started making records again, like, a couple of years ago, and it was this wacky thing, it was freaking out everybody's parents, like, whoa, kid, you're supposed to be listening to MP3s, and now you got records? We'll say, what? You know, and, 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 you know, I just wish that there was some kind of collective out there that did vinyl, but instead of, like, you know, the boring old stuff like this, they released it in the most elaborately colored, um, mega optioned out splatter vinyl possible, and, um, you know, capitalized on this fleeting trend in the mainstream and got, like, money from it, you know, milking, milking the passions of others so you can get a little bit extra money. Um, that's always a good thing, you know, I mean, because people need terrible metalcore records, um, of bands that are, like, on MTV in box sets of, like, 5,000, and, you know, $11, 7 inches, that's, that's great, because you can't, you, you know, vinyl overhead, it's, it's so high already, you might as well just jam everything on top of it, you know, <clears throat> splatter, split color, you know, screen B-sides, yeah, come on, man, that's, that's well worth, you know, the cost of three CDs. Um, yeah. Alright, well, I guess we'll play this, and, um, yeah, well, we'll see. I'm just gonna play the A side, because I really don't have time, uh, for the B side, even though it's, like, two minutes of music. record for wine, you know, uh, especially red wine, and today's a great day for this record, too. It's it's kind of rainy and gray and miserable, you can't really tell right now, but uh, it's, a, it's not a good day, you know, and this is, this is a not a good day, drinking cheap wine out of a Slurpee cup kind of record, you know. Ugh. It's, it's just cooking wine, too, it's something fancy. I, uh... I would have gone out and got something different, but again, it's raining, you know. 
And uh, 7-Eleven does not have wine. At least in this state. funny story is, um, I actually passed up eating to buy this record, but who would do that? I mean, that's just ludicrous. No serious record collector would do something like that. That's, yeah, but what do I know? I'm not a serious record collector. I don't have, you know, 28 versions of the same ISIS LP of slightly different color splatter variations. Um, I didn't blow a couple thousand dollars on an Against Me collection. Um, I don't have any records framed on my wall. I actually listen to my records. I know, it's crazy. Uh, this is the part of the record uh, where you touch the vagina. You know, this is where you make your move. I mean, listen to that. No woman can resist. Well, the right kind of woman can't resist. <laughs> And if you missed your opportunity, here's your other chance. You know. They should call this record the gynecologist. Here's your absolute last chance in the record to go for the, you know, you know. This part right here, it's, it's real, it's real, man. This is, this is what gray skies and rainy days and dead trees are all about, man. Listen to that, got nothing left. So good, so good. Alright, well that was it for, uh, volume three of the Pete listening sessions. Uh... DLV, Shifting Jisms, 2K8, 